Okay, so today we're going to be working on a tumbler from scratch. Um, first time me doing it, therefore I'm going to be doing it in you know increments of videos as we're doing them day by day. So this will be part one of preparing your tumbler. The kind of tumbler that we're going to be doing and working on today is a zipper tumbler. So I'm going to show you some of the items you need to actually do this. You need a tumbler, whichever size you decide. Um, I have this size. You would need a um, paintbrush. Um, I use Q-tips to clean up areas. Um, you would need popsicle sticks for your epoxy. You will need epoxy, whichever brand you choose. Um, you would need your measuring cups for your epoxy. You would need painter's tape or whatever kind of tape you choose to use. Um, I have a regular brush just to clean up some areas and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to use this to apply my epoxy because of the, the, um, the way that I'm going to do it. Um, I'll be mixing all the epoxy once the two are together in this to make it one. Um, paint. I have paint black and I have a golden color for what I'm trying to do. I'm thinking I'm going to add glitter. I'm not really sure but I have glitter just in case. I have my E6000 because we have to glue um, our zipper down and I have an actual zipper, 7 inch zipper, regular zipper. Buy it at the store. Um, and a decal and I'm going to make another decal but this is the decal we're going to be working with hopefully if not then I'll be printing out a different one depends on if that works the first thing I actually do is I take my tumbler and you'll see markings on it because I actually marked it up so I can put the zipper here and a picture decal in the middle so I had to mark it off um, four and a half inches in between the two so what I do is I take my painter's tape and just go ahead and actually mark off things on the painter's tape. Ah, that's better. Forgot the light. Sorry. Um, so with my markings, I'll be taking and I'll be marking off my lines I made so I can paint the first part of the tumbler. So with the markings, you'll take your tape and you'll place the tape on the outside of your actual markings to make your line straight. So you just go ahead and you tape that down on one side. You'll be removing this tape after you actually paint. So you'll make sure it's down. You take another piece, painter's tape probably using too much but oh well and along that line that you have you'll go and you'll put and this is just giving you a guidance for the middle part of what we're going to be painting to make it perfect and that the lines is to help you guide this is the first time I'm doing this so this is raw and uncut problems boofers all kind of things will probably happen but nevertheless, there you go. We taped it off. Um, and with that being taped off, we're ready to paint the inner triangle. Um, and you try to make sure it's down tight enough that you can not have a mess. But your lines are straight. So our middle part is going to be um, black. We're going to do the middle part black. So it's just regular paint, as you can see. Um, you could buy it at Walmart. You can get it off Amazon, but it's Apple Barrel and it's the black color. My paintbrush. Um, people use different brushes. <clears throat> I'm going to be using this brush. I shake my paint well because sometimes when your paint just sit around, it kind of um, develops. Whatever. And pour the paint on the area you're going to paint. And then we're just going to evenly make sure that our paint is on the area that we want 
this is the area we're going to actually lay our lion. So all you do with strokes is go ahead and paint this part. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be laying a decal on top of it. <clears throat> but not only a decal on top of it, we're going to be going to be um doing some other stuff. I haven't decided. I kind of have it in my head on what I want to do. But being this is my first time doing it, if we run into glitches, um, then we kind of know how to deal with those glitches. So all we're doing is really pretty much, as you can see, I painted the middle part. The middle part is going to be black because the background of our decal that we have um, is black. Now all I did was, um, all I did was, um, This decal I printed on vinyl paper, so it'll stick right on too. And that's why we did a black background so it can kind of blend together. And I already measured it so it'll be perfect. So once we paint that black, of course we need that to dry. And our brush will sit to the side. And we're going to remove our tape. Yes, before it dries, we're going to remove it, and hopefully it's really neat. So we just carefully just remove the tape, and that is a perfect line. Great. I'm excited. It worked. Okay, so we're going to remove the other half as well. Um, I don't think you, I mentioned it, but you will need gloves. It's just right now for this part, I don't have my gloves on because I'm good on this part, but dealing with my epoxy, I definitely have on gloves. So, I'm gonna remove our second part of the tape. Easily, steady, slow, and try to make sure that it's neat and nice. Now, as we all know, that's neat and nice. Things are not always neat and nice, but we probably, we've got it pretty good. And if at any time it's not the way that you want, it's not neat, it's not nice, um, if you need to tidy it up, you can always use acetone, which we have some here with a paintbrush. You know, a paintbrush you're not really going to use too much. And just clean up your areas to make your lines straight. We really don't have to do that on this one. I think we're pretty good. Might have needed two coats, but we're going to do it without um next what we want to do is we want to paint our outside which is going to be our gold outside um of our tumbler and pretty much when we do this we want to make sure that we shake up the paint just like we did the other one. This is a new one. The black wasn't new. I always use black. Um, open our paint and go ahead and do the same thing to the outer side. So shake it up and we're going to paint the outer side. Um, I have another paintbrush here. I also have these. I bought this from the dollar store. You get them from the dollar store. It's just a football. And I use it for different stuff to make it easier for me to do some of the things I want to do. And this football usually goes right in. These cups are a little slimmer, so you have to kind of force, force it in as much as possible. And that's to help me so I can paint it. And once it's on there, it's on there. I'm not going to do the bottom so I can use my bottom for whatever. But as much as, much as you can put it on, you want to put it on, or you can use your tumbler, tumbler turner and use that to hold it. I'm choosing to use this. And we'll be painting our outer side of our tumbler gold. So I'll just pour my gold on here and 
paint. Um, of course, it's not going to always go as smooth as we think, but just to make things, you know, the less you use, I use too much, but the less you use, the better off you are when it comes to spreading it out. I put too much, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> you don't have to be a painter to do this. All you're doing is giving yourself a nice coat of paint so your, your, um, your tumbler is going to be pretty. If you're going to put glitter on it, on top of your base color, then that's perfect because it's just going to cover it up. This will give it that base so in between the gold um, you won't see the stainless steel that you'll just see gold. When you're going next to the black you want to be very careful because remember you want to keep that straight line. So you know the kind of brush you use makes a big difference. And I know people say oh my god I can't do that I don't have a steady hand. Just take your time. I don't always have a steady hand. But taking your time and using the right brush makes a big difference in whether or not you're successful. And remember it doesn't have to be perfect because if you're um, putting glitter on top of these colors then that's going to just really just fix any little glitches you may have. Um, but you want to do an even coat of paint. Um, like I said I put a little bit too much so I'm going to have to kind of clean it up a little bit. But we're just painting painting it, painting it because I want the outside of it to be gold. Like I said, I haven't decided if I'm going to use glitter or not. But the thinner your coats are, the better off you are. And you'll have a smooth looking tumbler versus very bumpy and crazy looking. So you just take your time. Some people tape off the bottom depending on what tumbler you're using too. Some people choose to tape off the bottom of it. But as you can see, all I'm doing is just brushing the paint on. Use very little paint so it doesn't drip and go all over the place. And the thinner it is, the quicker it dries too. You want to remember that. Because you want it to dry so you don't have to take forever to do this tumbler. If it dries, you can go to the next step. So... Cleaning up around the black. Um, take some of the excess off if you have to to get to the black because you want to not mess up your black um, or whatever color that you're using in the triangle. And if at any time you mess up, just clean it up. Take it off and clean it up. Get the acetone, clean it up. I know sometimes we just don't want to make mistakes and that's why I chose to do Tumble With Me live because people are so worried about making mistakes and they think it's the end of the world but last time I checked when you, I'm a teacher, you learn from mistakes, right? Good. So I decided to do Tumble With Me for that purpose. See? And um, so you can see that if you run into a problem, you fix the problem and you keep on moving. So yeah, during my tumble with me, definitely, I know there will be some glitches. So once we paint this um, all up, we'll let it dry. And then we'll do the next step. This doesn't take long to dry, so we'll definitely be back. And we'll be able to do the second part the same day. There will be some steps that we can't do on the same day. But this particular one will dry. And then you look for part two video. To show you what's what. Before I even do anything else, I need to decide whether or not I'm going to put glitter here. Because if I'm not going to put glitter then I definitely want to do two coats of the gold so it's nice and gold around 
Um, but if we do do glitter, I'll tell you exactly how. So if you decide that that's what you want to do with yours, that you can do it. And I don't have to make it too perfect because the zipper goes there on those lines. So the zipper will kind of cover it, but you don't want it too messy. You want it as nice as possible. So when I come back, if I'm going to do another coat because I'm not going to do the glitter, then I need to figure that out before then. But other than that, if you see this, put your brush down, you wash your brushes off, you'll see that we have a nice coat of black where our logo, will, where our lion will go. And then the gold around here, um, if it's just, you know, the one coat of gold because we're going to do the glitter on the outside, that's fine. If it's not, we can keep it that way um, and do another coat to make it real thick and nice that you can't see those streaks. But at this point, what we need to do is let this dry. So we'll set this on the tumbler. We'll actually let it dry. And later on today, we'll come back and do the next step to show you that you can do more in one day. Thank you for joining Tumble with me. I am Tony, and I am from Crafty Boss Boutique. And thank you for joining. Make sure you like, subscribe on my channel. Thank you, Crafty Boss Boutique. Tumble with me. See you guys a little later today. Bye-bye.